Hey, what's up, guys? This is Coach Eric Scallon at Gladiators Academy of Youngsville, guys. And uh, we are continuing to talk about the word of the month. We are talking about excellence, building excellence in your child, all right? And it's constantly striving towards our personal best, all right, in order to reach our own potential, all right? And, I, and a lot of people are afraid that, you know, maybe our kids are not trying their hardest at school. They're just not giving it their all. They're just showing like a real lack of interest in things. And like, and some of the tactics that we are using are a little outdated, all right? So I wanna to talk to you about some common mistakes that people make uh, in order to motivate their child, uh, whether it's in school or in other activities, all right? And I think a lot of parents, first is that they try to reward their kids um, with presents, you know, uh, presents, prizes, um, money. I know uh, in, in my household when I was younger, my dad would say, hey, if you made the honor roll, uh, you'll get $100. I was nowhere even close to reaching the honor roll. So I was just like, look, I'm not even going to do it. But the main reason we don't want to do this is that, you know, we want to, the reward system we want to build in our kids, uh, we want to build them to look for internal rewards, right? As uh, ex, uh, opposed to external rewards, right? So we want them to try their hardest and feel good about it, feel accomplished, right? And or maybe getting praised from you, you know, that that's an internal reward, uh, you know, giving them items, you know, uh, it, it doesn't work after a while. It may work for just a little bit. Now for the younger kids, this is absolutely necessary. We you know we have to kind of hold some items, but slowly but surely, you know, we, we make that big shift shift from uh, external to a lot more internal reward system, all right? And then secondly is, hey, we've got to find what interests your child. What interests your child? What are they passionate about? And it's just real simple, guys. You know, uh, I, I know when I, when I went to college, you know, it was real easy for me to study psychology because I was very interested in psychology. I was not interested in French at all, not the slightest bit. You have to find what interests your child. It's just real simple. So we have to find like different activities, you know, uh, for them to uh, partake in. Look, I'm all about my child doing jujitsu. However, I want him to do other things. He's learning to swim. He's doing gymnastics right now. Once he's done with gymna uh, gymnastics and swimming, he's gonna go on, he's gonna do uh, other activities. I think he's talking about doing football. So find what ignites your child, what gets them excited, what opens their eyes. You know, I think a lot of times we try to push what we want uh, onto our kids. You know, we think, you know, hey, we like this, so we think that they're gonna like what we like, but that's, man, that's not the case at all. You know, they're different from us. You know, even when it comes to like reading material, you know, um, or some kids, you know, maybe th they prefer math or they prefer, they prefer uh, history or, you know, uh, so getting them to, um, look at different uh, areas, uh, research different things, you know, try getting them into some sci-fi, all right, or some, uh, you know, that's something different, you know, so find something different that they can, you know, that may spark their interest, you know, think outside the box, guys, get crazy, get it, get it, you know, do, uh, maybe get something on math, work some math problems with them, see if he likes that, okay, uh, also, man, oh, look, we gotta, uh, we gotta listen, we gotta investigate, we, we gotta listen, all right, um, Sometimes, you know, our, our kids are telling us what the problem is. And a lot of times our kids just don't feel connected with their teacher or they don't feel connected with their students, right? You know, maybe this, uh, him and the teachers don't have a good relationship or maybe the teacher is not investing enough time into your child or maybe they're not getting enough attention. Sometimes, you know, look, you know who gets the most attention? You generally, the, uh, some of the worst kids in the class, right? And then also some of the best kids in the class. And sometimes the kids that, you know, are right in the middle, you know, they don't get the most attention because, you know, hey, they're not doing anything uh, extraordinary, but, you know, they're not, they're not bringing attention to themselves, you know, so talk to them. Or maybe they're having trouble with their peers, they're not making friends, and those can be huge factors. I know, look, if you're getting bullied or maybe just just not even making friends or just communicating with other kids, it's going to be very, very hard for your child, to, you know, to, uh, to learn, all right? So, look, if your child is feeling unmated about school, uh, unmotivated about school, you know, try to reward them uh, internally. Talk to, them, talk to them about the pride of, of uh, working on something all night, you know, being under the pressure, taking the test, and, and trying your very best, all right? Um, you know, find what interests them. You know, get outside the box, new activities, new books, new reading materials, and guys, listen to your kids. Okay, listen to them. Don't think you know what's best for them. All right, guys. So this is another episode of the Parents Corner. Let me know what you think, guys, and let me start, let me know some tactics that you like to use to get your child motivated for schoolwork.